Salmon, I've been calling you for hours. Where have you been? Mama, relax. I was with my friends. I went to Salma's house. I was worried for you. You didn't even attend my call. Sorry, Mama. My phone was in silent mode. This is the last time. I will never do it again. Okay, my sweet kid. Let's go home. I have made your favorite lunch. Mama, why did you come to the park? I got extremely upset when you didn't answer my call. Elle came here to relax. Sorry, I'm really sorry, Mama. It's okay. I already told you to let me know whenever you go out. Why didn't you tell me? You were sleepy at that time. I didn't want to disturb you. I was in a hurry. That's why I didn't tell you. You should have waited for me to wake up. Mama, told you I was in a hurry. I couldn't wait. What does this mean? I couldn't wait. Is everything okay? Have you any problem? Don't think too much. There is no problem. Everything is going well. Thank God. Everything is okay. Your French leave makes me so distressed that I don't even know what to do. Cool, Mama. Let's go to have lunch. You told me you've cooked my first line dishes. Yes, today we have your favorite kabsa and baspayusa in our lunch. Mama, you are the best mom in the world. I love you, Mama. I'm grateful to have you as my son. Your presence in my home brings me immense happiness and joy. Well, start eating, and tell me, how does the food taste? I can tell without testing that the meal is super delicious. As I know, you're a magical cook, Mom. I've noticed that you seem a bit down. Have you something on your mind? Share it with me. Sorry to say, but there is a sad news. I'm sorry to have to tell you this bad news, but it's a must. Salma's father, Uncle Rashid, has an accident. He has been hospitalized. Relax, Mama. He is better now. I'll take you to the hospital to see him. Salma was very upset. I solaced her. I was in hospital with her all day long. Thank you, my son. You helped my brother and niece. You are a real good man. It's my duty to take care of you and your beloved ones. I feel proud when I do my, that duty. I'm proud to have you as my son. Mama, I'm gonna to take some rest. And you get ready, we will go to the hospital when I wake up. Okay, I also have to do house chores. Till you wake up, I'll do that. Don't get late, my honey. Wake up early. I have to go to my job too. But today is not a working day. Why do you go to the office? I have only one off in a week. I will have to go to my work. Mama, I think you should leave the job. You should not work in the office anymore. Why, my kid? Why do you say that? I think it's difficult for you to do house chores and do work in the office. You don't have time for enjoyment. You live a busy life. And now I'm able to manage the expenses of the house. I think you should have time for yourself. You should leave the job. You are right, my kid. But as you know, I love my work. I want to continue it. I think I'll get bored at home. I enjoy working with my colleagues. My job is not a burden for me. I enjoy my work. As you like. But sometimes, I get worried about your health. Your too busyness might not affect your health. That's right. I think we should keep a maid for house chores. What's your opinion? That's a great idea. Today, I would start searching for a housemaid. What type of maid do you need? Full-time housemaid or a maid just to do house chores and leave? I think we don't need a full-time housemaid. I can manage the house. I need just some help. I hope we'll have a good maid soon. She will help you, and then you will have a lot of free time. Then we will spend time together. We will visit our relatives, go to parks, eat in restaurants. We will have great fun. Thank you. 
my son, your kind heart inspires me all the time. You have always been a source of pride for me, my son. Thank you for making me proud with your achievements and kindness. I hope you'll like the conversation. If you want to support me for more videos, please subscribe and share with your friends.